Make up your mind that for the next few minutes you're going to stay with the breath. And if any other thoughts come up, you're not going to follow them. If thoughts are connected with the breath, you follow them back to the breath. And try to notice what kind of breathing feels good right now. In order to stick with your original determination, it requires mindfulness. And it requires ardency, that you're really going to do this well. And alertness so that you know what you're doing while you're doing it. And you see dangers as they come. These are good skills to develop because as we go through life, what makes life special are the things that we decide that we're really going to make some sacrifices for, things that we're going to do really, really well. We give them priority. It's called making a vow. You want this to happen, you want that to happen, well you have to figure out what are the causes that are going to make it happen. You have to use your discernment to figure out what's a good goal and then how you're going to get there. And then you're true to that goal. You're true to your original determination. Anything else that comes up that would lead you astray, you've got to let go of it. And at the same time, you have to keep your mind calm all the way through. Because if you get worked up about the things that you're missing, you can't do this, you can't do that, then it's going to be hard to stick with your goal. But if you learn how to keep the mind calm, realizing that you've chosen a good path of action, and you're going to benefit, if not immediately, you're going to benefit down the line. So you learn how to talk to yourself to give rise to a sense of desire, that this is something you really do want. Because otherwise our, our lives are just like the dust, mo <coughs> dust motes in the air. They get blown around, and they have no real purpose. They go up and they go down, back and forth, don't really accomplish anything. But it's when you make up your mind that you want something that's really worthwhile. In terms of training the mind, in terms of developing your virtue, in terms of being generous. Whatever the activity may be, that's a good activity that's going to lead to a harmless happiness. Okay, you really want to stick to that. Give it top priority. So these are the qualities you need in order to do that. Mindfulness, ardency, alertness. And then the discernment that chooses a good goal. Truthfulness that sticks with that goal. The ability to relinquish anything that gets in the way, and the ability to keep your mind calm all the way through. That's how goals get accomplished. And that's how we make something out of our lives. Because otherwise we have what they call the human treasure, the treasure of a human breath. But then we squander it. We can take that treasure and you can invest it in good actions, good thoughts, good words, good deeds. And you can give it direction. As the Buddha said, happiness comes from having yourself rightly directed. So figure out what a good direction would be, and then follow it through. Don't let obstacles dis discourage you. There will be obstacles, of course, but you'll learn how to get past them, because most of the obstacles come from within. Things you're holding on to that you tell yourself you can't let go of. Well, you have to ask yourself, what's really more important? The goal you've set for yourself or your old attachments? Learn how to reason with yourself so that you can let go of the attachments. And that way you clear the way to the goal. And that's how things get accomplished in life. And that's how your life gets direction.